Journalist and author Charlene Hunter Galt is a three time Peabody recipient and a Peabody board member. Ira Glass is host and executive producer of the public radio series This American Life. He is the winner of five Peabody's. Wow, Welcome to both. Wow. Eight among you. <laughs> wow. We, we mentioned it's the Oscars of our business and our profession, but it's more than that. What does it signify? I mean, the, the first time uh, This American Life got an award was 1996. We didn't have a distributor yet. We were trying to talk radio stations into picking up our show one by one. And uh, I remember I got a phone call as I was about to get on a plane, and it totally changed our ability to get onto radio stations. It was like the good housekeeping seal of approval. Right. It totally, it was, it was the first affirmation that, that what we were doing was original. And, you know, the fact that there are no categories, they just give it for excellence. Yes. Yeah, that kind of mark of excellence. It yeah. does say, bravo, job well done, and you're good at what you do. So let's, <laughs> Charlene, let's start us off with the first winner for a coverage of one of the toughest news stories of 2013. The winner is? Uh, the winner is W. WBZ TV and radio because they were just everywhere with non sensational coverage mm -hmm. and they helped so many people the police, the victims, you know, everybody. And we for thought the, they were excellent. For, for the Boston, Boston Marathon, Marathon bombings, bombings. Mm -hmm. they did an incredible job there. The second winner is a very popular entertainment program. Who does that award go to? Orange is the New Black. Oh. And it is, it is a comedy that treats a very serious subject, women in prison, uh, the things they go through, politics, all kinds of things. It's wonderful. There were so many good shows out this year. We all admired them. Why this particular program? Because it said something more. Was the craft of it or about a greater issue? I think it was a combination of all of those things. And of course, you know, one of the big problems these days is women in prison. Everybody in prison, really. Mm -hmm. But this one, the, it has a light treatment, so it, it's more receptive for an audience. But um, it was pretty strong. Yeah. Another show you say is Breaking Barriers. I mean, Breaking Bad. Yes. Breaking Barriers. Breaking Barriers. Breaking yeah. Barriers. Yeah, the third, the third winner. Mm -hmm. This is a show you say is Breaking All the Barriers. The third winner is, oh, that's not the one I have, but. This is the third winner? The, the third winner is another show you say it's is Breaking bar Barriers. Scandal. Oh, scandal. Oh, right. break. Oh, I thought yeah, you were saying Breaking Barriers. No, I said Breaking Barriers. Oh. Barriers. <laughs> I've had to sleep. I've been judging adult. Peabody Award. Yeah. No, you know, scandal, the first time in 40 years you have an African-American woman, Carrie Washington, in a very formidable role based on a real-life person, a fixer in, in Washington, D.C., and yet she transcends race. And the New Yorker said that it was soap opera that had become opera, and it raises a lot of what ifs. And I think we have to give a hands up to Chandra Rhimes who yes. created it. Yes. yes, the fourth winner is for Excellence in Radio. Excellence in Radio. Now let's find. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Harper High School, you did it. The most amazing <laughs> drilling I down. I know you didn't know. We didn't tell you, and I, I had a hard time not telling you. But. Harper oh. High is like <laughs> half of the kids in there, young kids, do not expect to live mm. through their youth. Mm -hmm. And it's all about the violence in these schools. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is while they drill down at Harper High School, at yes. the end of the show, you go around the country, and this is happening in inner city schools all over America, and it's unbelievable. This is a high school where they had yeah. 29 shootings in one year, mm -hmm. and uh, we sent three reporters in for five months and, and reported on what life is like in this in this uh, community where there's so much. So yeah. congratulations, Ira Glass, the fifth yeah. winner. Surprise, wow. surprise. Yeah. Okay. I know you look That's a little stunned. Yeah. It's a television news program. What is that? We have another surprise for you, Charlie. Assad. This amazing get of uh, mm -hmm. one of the arch villains of the world whom you treated with respect and yet you didn't back off, you pressed him and we all got to see what this man is made of and how he thinks and Bravo. I just have to read this part. It was, it was surely the biggest journalist, journalistic get of 2013. CBS This Morning, Charlie Rose sat down with Syrian President Assad. Under Rose's polite but persistent questioning, yes. Assad gave us a look into the mind of one of the world's most vicious warmongers, mm -hmm. a glimpse of banality and evil. So Surprise. bravo to you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo to you. Yeah. Yeah. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I never submit applications for awards. I don't know how these things happen, but thank you very much. Well, we're happy it happened. Thank you. That, um, yeah, we're very happy. Jeff that Fager was, and Paul so Needham, exciting. who went with me, who mm -hmm. made, really contributed to that. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.
And we should say that Charlene and Ira will be, you will be hosting the Peabody Awards, Ira, yes. on May 19th. You've got to figure out what you're going to wear. I know, I know. <laughs> you got to get to and that. And then there's going to be a TV special on the Pivot Network. That's right. For a complete okay. list of this year's Peabody winners, visit CBSThisMorning.com.